Hello, I'm Yasser Janab, Interventional Cardiologist in Tehran Heart Center, presenting the topic covered in the vascular reconstruction of aortic bifurcation syrup challenging case. Aorto-iliac stenosis is a common cause of peripheral artery disease, which is particularly prevalent in older age with a prevalence of 20%. In earlier stages, these stenoses can be successfully treated by endovascular procedures, but for more complex aorto-iliac stenosis, open surgical treatment was the primary treatment in the past. Because of the advanced age and multiple comorbidities of PhD patients with complex aorto-iliac stenosis, open surgical treatment is usually associated with high risk and therefore endovascular procedures are an alternative despite their poorer outcome. Covered endovascular reconstruction of the aortic bifurcation or CIRAP aims to improve the primary patency rate compared with the usual endovascular implantation of kissing stents. You can watch how syrup procedure is done after gaining bilateral femoral artery access wiring is done. A line 9 French sheet is placed for delivery of aortic cover stent below the renal arteries. This stent is placed at least 15 mm above aortoiliac bifurcation. Then the proximal portion of this cover stent is postulated to the same size of aorta. Afterwards, Two long sheets are advanced through the aortic cover stent to place two cover stents in iliac arteries simultaneously. Our case is a 71-year-old man with history of coronary artery bypass graft and heart failure with complaint of severe claudication from three years ago. Preprocedural CT angiography showed severe calcified infrarenal aorta and bilateral iliac arteries with nearly total occlusion in infrarenal aorta and common iliac arteries with good runoff at external iliac arteries. We had ultrasound guided access in right femoral artery, left femoral artery, and left brachial artery. Angiography showed severely calcified and stenotic infrarenal aorta and right common iliac artery with total occlusion of left common iliac artery. As you see, injection was done from lung sheet in brachial artery. Retrograde wiring was done almost easily from right femoral artery axis. However, retrograde wiring of left common iliac artery from left femoral artery axis with the CXI catheter and various O35 and O18 wires were unsuccessful. Finally, wiring was done from left brachial artery long sheet axis with the help of A1 catheter and Astauto O14 wire. Afterwards, 12 mm Advanta V12 cover stent was placed in infrarenal aorta and proximal portion of this cover stent was post dilated with 16 mm balloon. Then, two 8 and 9 mm cover stents were deployed spontaneously proximal in infrarenal aortic cover stent and extended to common IDAP arteries. We extended our standing with two other pair stents from common iliac artery cover stents to external iliac arteries. That's the final result. In summary, endovascular treatment for aorta iliac occlusive disease appears to be more suitable than open repair for higher risk patients. Covered endovascular reconstruction of aortic bifurcation or syrup technique for extensive aorta iliac occlusive disease can be applied by using Atrium's Advanta V12 covered balloon expandable stent to rebuild the aortic bifurcation. Thanks for your watching.